Over the last 10 years, we have been providing HIV AIDS educational videos in numerous languages with the hope that with knowledge of how HIV is transmitted, we could help prevent new infections. HIV prevention has traditionally been based on a behavioral model of abstinence, minimizing the number of sexual partners, and using a barrier method such as condoms. More recently, HIV prevention has shifted to more of a biomedical approach. That means that there's a greater focus on medication to decrease the risk that someone will contract HIV or that they will transmit HIV if they are already HIV positive. This video will review these newer HIV prevention methods and discuss the circumstances in which they are recommended. HIV was originally considered by many to be a death sentence. The discovery of medications to treat HIV means that for patients who take their medication as prescribed, HIV can be considered a manageable chronic disease. It's important to remember that for HIV positive people who do not take HIV medications at all, or who do not consistently take their medications as their doctor has prescribed, HIV can still result in death. In addition to changing how HIV patients are treated, HIV medications are paving the way for a new approach to HIV prevention. There are three major ways in which this is happening. Number one, treatment as prevention. Your viral load is the amount of HIV in your blood. Studies have shown that if your viral load is so low that it is undetectable, the chance of you transmitting HIV is much lower than if you had a high viral load. Treating HIV with medications can lower your viral load to an undetectable level. This discovery established the approach of using HIV treatment as a method of prevention. Number two, PrEP. PrEP stands for pre-exposure prophylaxis. Prophylaxis means prevention. PrEP uses HIV medication to decrease the risk of becoming infected with HIV. Here is how PrEP works. If you are sexually active, you can take a pill that blocks the virus. It is important to take the pill as your doctor prescribes to minimize your risk of contracting HIV. Studies have shown that PrEP reduces the risk of contracting HIV in diverse groups, including gay men, heterosexual couples, transgender women, and injection drug users. Patients often say that they find it hard to remember to take every dose of their medication as prescribed. Do your best to follow your doctor's instructions as closely as possible. Fortunately, a study showed that among gay men who took the HIV medication Truvada for PrEP at least four times a week, no one became infected with HIV. So we have evidence that PrEP with less than perfect adherence can still be helpful. Sharing of needles among injection drug users is another common way HIV is transmitted. If you use injection drugs, never use a dirty needle to inject. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention now recommends that pre-exposure prophylaxis also be considered as one of the several possible methods of HIV prevention for injection drug users who are at high risk of contracting HIV. You can ask your physician to prescribe the medication to you, but not all physicians are willing to prescribe it, and not all insurance companies are willing to pay for it. You may need to ask your local HIV AIDS agency to help you. Number three, PEP. PEP 
stands for post-exposure prophylaxis. PEP uses HIV medications to decrease the risk of becoming infected with HIV if you think that you may have already been exposed to it. Here is how PEP works. If you had sex with someone you think is HIV positive or whose HIV status you're unsure of, you can take HIV medications for a month. Typically, you must begin PEP treatment within 72 hours of when you were potentially exposed. After 72 hours, medications do not help decrease transmission. Post-exposure prophylaxis is different from pre-exposure prophylaxis. With pre-exposure prophylaxis, you are taking medication as prescribed regardless of whether you have sex. With post-exposure prophylaxis, you are taking medication after a particular sexual exposure. There are many ways to prevent HIV today. The more sexual partners you have, the greater your risk of contracting HIV. Condoms, used correctly, have been shown to greatly decrease the risk of contracting HIV. Treatment with HIV medications that decrease your viral load to an undetectable level have been shown to decrease the risk of transmitting HIV. Pre-exposure prophylaxis is a method of using HIV medication every day to decrease the risk of becoming infected with HIV. Post-exposure prophylaxis is a method of using HIV medications to decrease the risk of becoming infected with HIV if you think you may already have been exposed. No matter who you are, your life matters, as do the lives of those around you. There are so many opportunities these days to prevent the transmission of HIV. Let's work together using every method we can to stop the spread of HIV. For AIDSvideos.org, this is Dr. Becky Kuhn.